Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You're listening to the Thai Expat Daily Show. I'm your host, Kieran Mack. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And let's just jump into today's top stories. Deadline to apply for the 60-day COVID visa extension, now July 29th. The deadline to apply for a 60-day visa COVID extension has been pushed to July 29th, now allowing stays up until late September. The extensions are intended for foreigners who are unable to leave Thailand and return to their home country due to the ongoing COVID-19 situation. The deadline to apply has been extended by the Thai Immigration Bureau several times, typically announced at the last minute. The previous deadline was May 29th. The 60-day visa extension program was launched late last year, allowing foreigners to stay in Thailand due to the global 19 situation and limited international flights. The extension can be granted if a foreigner cannot return home to their home country due to COVID-19 pandemic, there are no return flights available, or the foreigner has a letter from their embassy requesting temporary stay. So that's just a little bit of information for anybody who's still here and using these COVID-19 extensions. It has been extended again up until July 29th. So make sure you get down there and get your visa, your 60 days, so you can continue to stay in the country legally. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope all works out for you well. It seems to uh, be working out quite well, though they possibly could have done something for people maybe issuing visas within the country due to the fact that people can't really leave and do border runs etc but i guess uh, we're not living in a perfect world right now either foreigners urge to get covid 19 jabs thailand's mass vaccination program for covid 19 kicks off next month including the jabs for foreigners all people living on Thai soil, Thais and foreign nationals alike, are requested to register for vaccinations through designated channels should they wish to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, said Deputy Foreign Minister Spokesman Natupanu Napkon. They will allow the authorities to plan ahead accordingly and avoid crowded gatherings and long queues on the vaccination day. Foreign nationals are part of Thailand's effort to achieve herd immunity in the country and are encouraged to get vaccinated. Authorities have assigned various agencies to be in charge of foreign nationals to ease the process of vaccine rollout. For instance, vaccinations for diplomats, members of international organisation and foreign media are coordinated by the foreign ministry. Foreign students are under the responsibility for the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation. Migrant workers from the neighbouring countries are taken care of by the Social Security Office, he said. Spouses of Thai citizens, retirees, investors and all other foreign nationals are advised to contact the hospital with their health record or make an on-site registration as designated vaccination venues. Businesses and organization can also liaise with the Ministry of Public Health to organize vaccination schedules for their employees, regardless of their nationalities. The governors of each province, as well as the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, have been tasked with organizing the nationwide vaccination rollout, the spokesman said, adding foreigners are advised to check the details of vaccination venues issued by each province. And the article just goes on about vaccinations and whatnot. Now, it's all very well, the spokesman and the CCSA, who are basically the government coming out and saying all this. But what's going on on the ground right now is certainly not what they're talking about. Now, personally, I have contacted my own hospital where my, my patient records are to be told they didn't know what I was really talking about first to... Well, we're waiting for management to tell us uh, what to do, and it probably won't be happening on, ju on June 7th. So I then contacted the Phuket Public Health Department, and they read all my messages, I could see, but never bothered to reply. And that seems to be the big thing that's going on right now, is that when you get down to the level where you need to be able to register, you just can't do it because they're all refusing to do it. In Koh Samui, apparently the hospital, main hospital there, the IT program broke down and cannot register foreigners only, by the way, uh, until further notice. 
Bangkok has been able to register. Uh, some hostels have, but only open for one or two days and then the registration's all closed again. Vaccine. And I'm not talking about getting the vaccination. Just to register your intent that you want to get it and then SMS me when it's my turn. On June 7, I fully expect was to be able to go down and register in my local hospital. Maybe I mightn't get the vaccine for four months, but at least I know I've registered. But right now, it all seems a bit of a mess. It seems very hazy. Nobody seems to know what's going on. You know, they've they've basically deactivated their their the applica the application they had made for it, and now every province is told to do what they want. It's all very chaotic. But let's see what happens on June seventh. I've written to a few of these organisations asking for answers on where I can register, so I can tell other people where they should go as well. So. As I get more information about this, I'll definitely um, pass it on to uh, to you guys out there. So, you know, you too, if you want to register, can at least get your name down on the list somewhere. And with that story, that leads me into my last story of the day, which is about hospitals restricting vaccine registration amid supply concerns. The Chillaborn Royal Academy, CRA, and several private hospitals were closing their registration procedures for vaccination against the COVID-19 virus on Monday. The Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration, CCSA, last week asked people to slow down their vaccine registration via the More Prom application due to limited supply of vaccines. The locally produced AstraZeneca vaccine will reportedly not be delivered in June as scheduled. The CRA announced online that their registration had reached capacity and it will not be registering any new patients to ensure vaccines are allocated for those who have registered. The CRA announced last week that it will be responsible for importing at least 1 million Sinopharm vaccines. Medpark Hospital, a newly opened private hospital, also said it had reached full capacity for the vaccination registration and needs to ensure enough shots are available. Payatai Hospital stated that it will be unable to provide vaccine registration as the CCSA announced to restrict to restrict registrations via the More Prom application to allow people to register via the Thai Ruam Jai website, which opened last week for people from 18 to 59. Bangkok Hospital stated this month that it has not opened any vaccine registration, but will notify the public when one when one becomes available. So as you see, I, I base you know what I'm talking about. In my previous story and this story, they both tie in together. You know, it, it's just showing what's going on out there, and it's not just for foreigners now. It's Thai people as well. I mean, there's a, a lot of stuff going on about how there's not enough. The vaccines that are meant to be coming in June aren't coming, and there's going to be a very, very, very limited supply, and people are demanding answers for how many are going to how many vaccines they'll have because they gave they give just vague answers to this you would think you know on the 31st of may you would know how many vaccines you're going to have in june but apparently not i guess that's the uh thai way so the last story of today and i just wanted to touch on uh, a video I did yesterday on the phuket sandbox is i wanted to explain is what exactly are sha hotels and how do you find SHA hotels. So to start with, the Amazing Thailand Safety and Health Administration SHA project is a result of a cooperation between the Ministry of Tourism and Sports, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the Ministry of Public Health, the Department of Disease Control, the Department of Health and the Department of Health Service Support, as well as government and private sector organizations involved in the tourism industry. Together, they aim to make tourism part of Thailand's disease prevention measures and ensure that both Thai and foreign tourists have a positive experience, that they are happy and confident in the sanitation and safety standards of Thailand's tourism products and services. This can be achieved by combining public health safety measures and establishments' high quality service standards to reduce the risk and prevent the spread of COVID-19, as well as improving Thailand's tourism products and service standards. Various boards, federations and associations in the tourism industry are in charge of inspecting the checklist and certifying the results of improving a workplace according to the SHA standards. Workplaces are divided into 10 types, restaurants, diners, hotels, accommodation and meeting places, recreational activity and tourist attractions, transportation, travel agencies, health and beauty, 
department store and shopping center, sports for tourism, theater, entertainment activities, and souvenir shops and other shops. TAT awards SHA certificates, assigns a serial number to successful entrepreneurs and records it in the database on the list of entrepreneurs who have received the SHA certificate. The TAT can also revoke the SHA certificate if entrepreneurs fail to comply with SHA standards. Now I have a little video just to go through with you uh, on SHA and then I'll just show you the website where you can look up what hotels are SHA registered and then just a little trick uh, that I've noticed uh, so you can kind of find these on online travel agents and TripAdvisor etc. Travelling and tourism in Thailand is back to being lively once again. We're back with confidence and safety assurance. From the strict social distancing measures and the cooperative effort of Thais nationwide. We are introducing the amazing Thailand Safety and Health Administration certification. Issued to establishments and operators who have passed strict evaluation and assessment. Back with peace of mind wherever we go. Please wear a mask. What remains is the wait for you to come back and fulfill your experiences here in Thailand. So now you've got to that stage, you're going to book your hotel and you need to figure out, you know, what where do you find SHA certified hotels and is it easy to find and you know locate them so yes it is easy to find and locate an SHA hotel you just need to go to thailandsha.com which is this website here that I'm showing you now once you load it up you come in and you enter the website now normally you'll have a choice up here between Thai and English okay so you're obviously you're going to click on English and then you're going to scroll down to where you see the parts here, hotel accommodation and homestay. So these are all the different categories that are SHA certified. But obviously we're looking for hotels right now, so we're going to click into there. Now, here is the list of hotels, but this is currently now for all of Thailand. So you can see there's 3,401 hotels. We need to just filter that down a little. So if we go here on the left hand side, we'll click hotel accommodation and homestays again. The province that we want is obviously Phuket, which is down here at the end, and it automatically loads. Now, this search key is pretty useless. It's really only for just um, searching for a specific hotel. So here you can see all the different hotels, and currently there's 440 hotels that are SHA certified. Now, about this SHA Plus I will make a presumption that all these hotels will become SHA plus certified in the next coming few weeks because to be SHA certified plus you just not need to have 70% of your staff certified as having uh, been vaccinated for COVID-19 and all the hotel staff in, in all of Phuket were vaccinated two months ago so that's already been done. Now the only problem with this website is actually there's no filters and there's no way to search for hotels. So you can't search for a two, three, four, five star hotel. You can't search for a specific price or price range. You can't search based on location. You can do none of that. So it's actually a little rubbish of a website and, and, and basically it's only there as a reference for you. Now something I did notice that hotels were doing and it's just a, a little kind of trick to help you along the way. If you go to TripAdvisor for example example and let's say put in up here you want to stay for example Patong hotels and places to stay um, I have a stay now let's see for a week from the 7th hours uh, from the 11th of July to the 18th but just to give you a quick uh, idea of what some hotels are doing what some the problem with SHA certification is you can't advertise it in text on TripAdvisor or any online travel agent because they'll say that's uh, using uh, certifications to promote your business ahead of ones that don't. So they just don't allow hotels to write SHA certified on their home page like this. But what hotels have been doing 
and what is kind of a neat little trick is what they've been doing is they've been putting the SHA logo like this here into their profile photo which is allowed so if you look down holiday and resort have the SHA certificate embedded in their profile picture so as you're going down you can go oh yeah that one there there and you go along here you'll find that there's a few other hotels with the same trick done uh, this one here Amari have it over here they could have centered it a bit better but as you can see it's still there uh, further down the way uh, you see Impiana Resort Patong has done the same thing has its SHA logo embedded in its profile photo um, you know if you go down there's more that have done it uh, Divana Patong Resort have also done the same thing so there's a lot of hotels that have done that so it makes it quite easy for you to distinguish the SHA versus the ones that are not and if you're coming over on the Phuket Sandbox it's an SHA hotel you have to stay in so uh, that's just a little trick to help you otherwise what you're going to be doing is you're going to go into every hotel and you're going to be putting in the name into the amazing thailand website to see if it's sha certified and i can say that can become quite monotonous and quite tedious after a while so uh, just a little trick that and um, tip kind of at uh, look you know there's holiday inn they have it there on their one again hotel clover patong they have it there so you can see clearly see that that's an sha certified hotel and anyway so when you're looking for your hotel to come to Phuket to have a, a great vacation, just remember that little trick for looking up the hotels. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave us a five star rating. We are available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify and wherever you like to listen to your podcasts. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow.